Hello, my name is Paul Miners, and welcome to another one of my productivity training videos. In this video, I want to give you an introduction to CleanShot X, which is a screenshot and video capture app that I've been using on the Mac for the last couple of years. And I seem to get asked about this app all the time by clients and people that I'm emailing because they always want to know what is that app that you are using. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Now, firstly, CleanShot X is actually an app that I've downloaded as part of a set app subscription. If you haven't seen SetApp before, I have made other videos about this. SetApp is a marketplace on the Mac where you can sign up once for an annual subscription to the SetApp service and you get access to a whole host of uh, great Mac applications. And one of them that I use every single day is CleanShot X. So I don't have to pay for this separately. I've actually got it as part of my pre-existing setup subscription. So CleanShot is a menu bar app um, that allows me to take screenshots of my screen or the feature that I use the most is to record videos. And so this is an app that I use dozens of times a day. I get lots of questions from subscribers, from customers, from clients, often asking me about how to do things in Asana or Pipedrive. And for me, it's often just easier, rather than typing out an email reply, it's easier to just record a quick video where I can show myself actually doing something in Asana. Uh, so number one, it's easier for me. And also the customer who's getting, or the person who's getting that video really appreciates the video. They often get it and say like, wow, like thank you for the video, this is great. It's a lot clearer than trying to read text and, and interpret it. Um, and so people really appreciate these videos. And so I often do it as well. If I get a really long email, if anyone emails me something quite long, lots and lots of questions, rather than typing out a response, even if I don't need to show something, I'll just start recording myself replying to their email and I can just talk out loud and explain my thoughts. And again, it saves me time because I'm not having to type out a response and it's really useful for the recipient. They feel like they've gotten a really great response as well. So this is an app that I use dozens of times a day. It really does save me time. Once you've downloaded it, what does CleanShot allow you to do? Well, it is a menu bar application. And as you can see up here, there are all sorts of different screen capture uh, options available to me. So I can do the classic capture an area. So if I click that, I can click and drag and uh, take a screenshot of a particular area of my screen. And you'll see when I do, this little, little box appears down here. And if I click the little pen icon, I can edit this, um, I can edit this screenshot. And so there's a couple of cool things I can do is, uh, a feature that I use all the time is I can blur out parts of the image. If I want to blur out bits of text, for example, I can do that, that's pretty handy. I can also add on arrows. Maybe I want to uh, point out different parts of this. Um, there we go. If I want to point out different parts of this screenshot, I can add images in here uh, and, and make these uh, little arrows. I can add boxes and I can highlight, um, highlight important areas. And so it's just a great way of being able to mark up an image. I can add text in here, you know, click this. And it's a great way to quickly mark up an image that I can then drop into an email. Uh, maybe I'm emailing a client, somebody's emailed me a question. I can capture my screen and point to buttons and things which I find really useful. So once I've got my image looking the way I like, I can simply click and drag and I can drag this into an email or something. Um, that, that's actually my most common use case is like dragging into an email or maybe into a document if I'm saving an attachment somewhere. Uh, you can as well, I'm logged into my CleanShot account, so you can upload images and things to your CleanShot cloud account, which I'll, I'll show you in a sec when we look at the video recording options. So that's capturing an area. You've also got capture previous area. So if I want to capture the same area again, I can click that button and screenshot, uh, screen, uh, CleanShot will remember the last area of my screen that I captured, so I can easily annotate it again if I need to do the same thing. I've got the option to capture my full screen, you know, rather than clicking and dragging, I can capture my full screen. Uh, so I can um, save that now and I've got a full screenshot. I've got capture a window. So maybe I just want to capture this window or my setup window there. I can choose a particular window to screenshot. And again, I can, I can edit this and uh, it's a really nice way to just capture, capture an entire window without having to click and drag and select the area. 
And then we've got some pretty cool features, uh, the first of which is scrolling capture. So have you ever wanted to screenshot, for example, a web page, but you can't fit everything in because you need to scroll? So what I can do is I can say, uh, let's do a scrolling capture. I'm gonna drag this area, and then I'm gonna say, start capture. And then watch what happens is I'm gonna scroll. I'm just gonna do it kind of slowly. I mean, you can go quickly, I suppose, but I just do it fairly slowly. And you can see this image on the, on the left has uh, populated, and then I can click done. And so now I've captured a much larger area uh, without having to stitch images together. Uh, so this is great for capturing web pages and things like that. So really powerful feature there. There is also a self timer option. If you need to um, capture an area, but you need a five second countdown, maybe there's something you need to do to quickly time something, you can do a timed capture, so that's quite useful. I mean, I don't use that that much, but it's nice to have that as an option. And then we've got a really powerful feature, which is capturing text. So if I choose this option, I can select some text like this, and then CleanShot has now OCR'd, and it has recognized that text. So if I want, I can bring up a note here, and I can Command V, and I can paste that text into an email or a note. So really handy if you've got text in an image that isn't selectable, you can capture that text for CleanShot to perform optical character recognition. And then finally, we get to my favorite and most commonly used feature of CleanShot, which is to record your screen. So this is really useful if you want to record a window and you can see I've got a bunch of recording options up here. I can choose a microphone that I want to record in. I can choose a webcam so I can see my little face down here. I can choose to highlight mouse clicks and even um, keyboard shortcuts as well. And so now I can choose to record a GIF or actually a video. So this is something I do all the time. Here we go, it's recording now. I do this all the time, especially for sending videos to customers or clients. If I get a question about Asana or Pipedrive, I can quickly record my screen, explain what it is that they need to do, and, uh, and, and just answer their question really efficiently. If I want to, I can pause the recording while I'm you know, halfway. So this is really useful if I need to just stop, collect my thoughts, I can pause, change my windows, and then I can carry on. And then once I'm done, I just click stop. And so now, CleanShot is actually gonna upload this to my cloud account. So you can see here previous videos that I've recorded, and it's gonna store this video online in my account, and it's gonna give me a link that I can then share with clients. So if I just click paste now, uh, or command V, there is a link to the video, so it's stored online, and I can email this or send it to somebody via Slack or even a text message, and they can instantly watch uh, my video. When I log into my CleanShot account, you'll see I have the option to rename my videos, so CleanShot Demo. This is not something I ever do. I, I generally just you know record my screen and send it, but if you want, you can rename your videos. You can even tag them as well. Again, I'm actually not really, I'm not using tags. You see, I don't have any here. My, my use case is just for quickly recording a video and sending it. I don't really need to organize them, but it is nice to have that option. And there is also an option to make them um, self-destruct where they expire after a certain amount of time. Maybe I just don't want them to have access to the, vi the video permanently. So I can say that you know this will self-destruct in seven days or 30 days, something like that. Now, a couple of other features that you'll have here in the menu bar. So I've shown you all of the recording options. Um, you can also choose to open, if there's an image that you've screenshotted previously, you can um, open that image and you can start annotating it. So I've got that option there. I can also pin, pin different um, attachments to the screen if I want. So let's go to my favorites. Uh, you know, I've got like this image of myself. I can, I can pin that to the screen, uh, which is quite useful if I just wanna have that kind of stuck there. Um, I can also restore recently closed items. So if I click that, this is the last video or screenshot that I recorded. So if I, if I didn't um, take action on that, maybe I forgot to annotate it or I just wanna get access to it again, it's quite handy to quickly get access to the last thing that I recorded. Uh, and then you can actually see all my recent uploads here, recent videos and things that I've recorded. Now, and finally, there are some preferences that I do just wanna walk you through here. Uh, so firstly, um, most of this is pretty self-explanatory. The main thing I wanna highlight on this general tab is these different um, actions and options here. So after you have uh, 
recorded a screen, or sorry, captured a screenshot or a video, you can say, right, we wanna show the quick access overlay. So the little pop-up down there, I can choose to show that. I can choose to copy the file to my clipboard if I want to for a screenshot or a recording. There we go. Um, I can automatically save it if I want. I've actually got that turned off. I don't save every um, screenshot or video. I'll manually save it if I need to. What I do have turned on is I can um, choose to upload all my recordings to the cloud because basically I'm always sharing those with, with people. So I always have my recordings uploaded to the cloud. So that's the main um, kind of setting I wanted to highlight on this page. You've got some wallpaper options. So when you do record the screen, you can choose um, to go to a um, transparent or a custom color wallpaper if you don't want to show your, your normal wallpaper. Maybe you've got a picture of your family or something and you don't want to show that. So you can customize the wallpaper options. There are some shortcuts that you can customize as well. If you want to change the default shortcuts, um, you can do that on this screen. You can see I've got Shift Command 4 for capturing an area like this. You can then modify the quick access options here so I can make this bigger or smaller. Um, I can choose, uh, you know, what happens after I, uh, after I drag and drop this. I can, I can choose what happens so I can choose if I want this to dis uh, disappear or not. I can customize my recording options. Uh, I can turn on do not disturb, changing mouse clicks and things like that. So most of this, you know, I just recommend digging into. You can change the frames, uh, frames per second, things like that. On the cloud tab, you can link your CleanShot cloud account. Um, so that means I can automatically have my recordings uploaded and I can change the quality as well. So I've optimized mine for sharing so they upload a bit quicker. And what I have enabled as well, I would recommend turning this on, is copying the um, cloud link to your clipboard. So as soon as I've recorded a video, it starts uploading. Even before the video has uploading, has finished uploading, it generates a link so I can paste that into my email, send off my email, and my, my video could still be uploading, but you know, once the, once, uh, the recipient gets the email, it, the video will have uploaded, it will be ready to go. So that's something I've enabled there, so my um, link gets copied straight away. And so, yeah, once you've signed up, just I would recommend going through some of these um, tabs here. I mean, I've pointed out some of the major things to change there. But that is an introduction to CleanShot. Like I said, this is an app I get asked about all the time. It really helps me to save time because especially if I get a big email or I need to explain something, I find it much easier to just record my screen and explain it over video than it is to actually type out a big message. So if you wanna save time with uh, explanations like me, then definitely give CleanShot a go. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below and thank you very much for watching this video.